now that you have a webcam, let's do something fun. Play a what play a random to... riff. I I don't know guitar. Yeah, just just play. <laughs> Podcast 22. <laughs> we kept saying we'd make a theme song. And. Literally just played the four yeah. chords I'm good at. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll have uh, variations of that. <laughs> this whole new podcast number 22. Larry finally got the webcam. Woo! This yeah. is fun. You, you can see Larry live. Oh, yeah. I'm really yellow right now because all the lights in my house yeah. are yellow. Yeah, that's it, dude. <laughs> yellow. Yeah. All right, so dude, it's been a week. Yeah. We uh we, we tried mooching off Kenny, cause you know was... he's he's got a bigger social media, but uh it didn't work. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, we're back, the rocks of the podcast, cause Tanner Tanner keeps leaving us. But Tanner is a busy boy. Yeah, busy boy, but uh he was here. So dude, how have you been? Um, I've been all right. I think this week was like pretty hard for me. I don't know why. Like, just mentally, it hasn't been that great this week. Ah. Uh, but like, I still got my stuff done, so it's like not too bad. It's okay, dude. You get to spend the next hour hanging out with your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, just yeah, just talking. Just talking is great. Um, so yeah, I think I'm out talking to like a lot of people today. All right, not today, but this week. Um, That's good. So on Tuesday we had a we have our weekly Epic meeting. Epic Movement is our is my club on campus, uh-huh. and like we had the worship night, and uh, we invited like a bunch of people from like other ministries, like from like if you know like Crew into Varsity, uh-huh. uh, Impact, um, Navigators. We invited all of those different ministries out. I don't know how many people actually came because I was sitting outside talking with my friends about like community and stuff. And, like, that was a really good talk for me, though. Like, got me thinking about a lot of different things. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting week. <laughs> nice. And uh, another improvement, we added more things to the list before. Or at least I did. And then Larry thought about more things. <laughs> so, <laughs> getting better every week. But, yeah, do you know about the show? This is us. I don't know. Have you heard of it? What, where is it from? It's on NBC. I don't know. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Do you do you care about spoilers at all? Uh, I have no idea what I I don't even know what this is, so okay. I don't know about game. Okay, so so it's it's basically just one of those. It's like NBC's pretty good shows. It's like it's just about getting old and life and all that. So it's like these these siblings the 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 show starts off with them turning 36 and kind of like where they're at in life and then like the twist at the end of the episode is that like you're also seeing their parents at the same age so it's kind of like time jumping a lot and it just like goes through their lives and it's like pretty well written oh that's pretty cool so yeah so this week because um because i i haven't been watching because i work when it when it's live so I just catch up on Hulu, <laughs> and, okay. and I caught up this too. week. Yeah, I caught up this week, and oh man, I was like, man, I watched this episode. This is something I need to ask Larry about, because it's like, it's, you know, because psychology's your wheelhouse. I try. I, yeah. I hope it is. <laughs> yeah, we, we hope it's your wheelhouse, but like, holy crap! So, uh, what? One of the siblings. So the, the the siblings are, two of them are two-thirds of triplets the third one died during childbirth okay. and then okay. the the third one's a black baby that they adopted okay so like out of all of them the black one was the smart one went to like an ivy league tier school okay and like perfectionist and everything and like up to you know up to so it's currently season three episode 17 
and like up to like a couple episodes ago, he was kind of like the best out of all of them. Okay. You know, he thought he was like a perfect person, and it turns out like his he's like married, has kids. Like, uh, the the last episode focused mostly on him and his wife and like their relationship. Like they met in college, okay. and like them post college, and then like. So and it just showed like a lot of, you you see kind of like behind the curtains of like how he operates and it's like, he he's one of those people that he's not malicious but it, you find out like he's an emotional manipulator, without mm. without being like you know evil I guess for lack of a better term, okay. and like, cause the his story arc for this season is that his uh his biological father passed away like at the at the end of season one. Okay. And he tried, uh, res- like helping out the the apartment complex that his his uh biological father lived at, because it was like run down. He's like, I got money, I'll invest into this, and then like he got slowly more invested into the community. And he he ran for like city council or some small position, and he won. Oh. <clears throat> and like all throughout it, he's like, sp- he's kind of like splitting himself between like work and family more and more yeah and it it's uh because it's like he, he lives in uh, i think pennsylvania and the the city was is uh philadelphia so it's like it's a couple hour drive away so like all the stress of that and like that toll on the family and and so the, his wife like all, gets unemployed at one point and then like finds a job teaching dance because that was like her passion when she was young oh that's cool and so like it's that them trying to navigate like their family like how that works because like they're they're both super busy people <laughs> and then this episode was like at every stage like when they first meet when they're getting married and like you it's like small seeds of he's not like he he will he knows how to say like the perfect words to make his his wife calm and happy but mm-hmm. like in doing that like he most of the time convinces her to do something and, and uh-huh. like this this was where she and like her so the the conflict was her um getting in becoming a dance instructor and like get like trying to move up in that position you know okay yeah. she's getting paid for it and like that's conflicting with like their family life and all that and so mm-hmm. like this is the first time of like in their relationship she stepped her foot down and been like no i'm not gonna like you know i'm not gonna take away from myself to match what you need kind of thing mm-hmm. so i was like oh man that's de-. it was like it was crazy because it was like the one the one of the three siblings that like you you felt were you know the most grounded and like the most figure mm-hmm. like they figured out life they're they're like yeah, dude, this has been a problem since day one. <laughs> so. I think, like, with emotional, like, manipulation, I guess I guess that's a way to call it. Like, I feel like a, a lot of people do that, like, not on purpose, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And, like, you can be doing it, and, like, you don't really realize, uh, especially, like, if you're working, like, even closer with someone, if you start to get someone, if you get to know someone even more, mm-hmm. like, uh, you can accidentally do it. You might not even know, and like it's not like that bad of a thing uh, if you, like, unless like you're gaining them to like trust you, and then mm-hmm. you go murder them in the back alley or something. Yeah, yeah, no, not that but, bad, but yeah, like, and like you said, like he was using it because like, like he liked her, right? And then like mm-hmm. he he wanted her to be happy, and like, but like when you start using it, so like you can get what you want. Uh, I guess that's like when it gets to the sketchy side. Yeah, because the one of the situations that I was like, "Holy crap!" Because you know that when you when you see it, sometimes it's like very subtle. It's like, oh, you know, he like you think when you see it in passing, you're like, oh, you know, this person just gets it. Like, like your friends, mm-hmm. you like, you know that those friends you have that are like the perfect couple and they just get each other, <laughs> and you're like, dude, they're never gonna break up. But like. You only you it's like you only get to see the highlights of it, yeah. but like that this episode kind of like broke down like the the like minutia and like all the small stuff that if you see it in isolation you're just like oh you know that's just them, like yeah. one time like 
one of the the flashbacks they gave was um his wife was basically like while well working taking care of or helping him take care of his biological father before he passed mm-hmm. it, it was it's very complicated but like she was dealing with all that and she was like she made up an excuse to go away she's like oh i have this conference like a day away so okay. and so she left and like the husband was like okay cool you know and then uh the the husband went to like the grocery store to go get stuff and he caught her there and oh. she was like you know she she basically was like yeah i needed an excuse to get out of the house for a day mm-hmm. and he was like he wasn't happy with it and she was like oh you know i want to go away just get into like a hotel room you know you know yeah. sit in a bubble bath watch my shows you know just decompress and then he was like you know you know you're you're good you can do it and then was like Oh man! And then she was like, "This show," and he's like, "What episode are you gonna watch?" And like, she describes it, and he's like, "Remember, this is my favorite episode." And then like, you can see her like losing her ground, and she okay. he's like, "After after he goes, oh, you know, that's my favorite episode." And they're laughing. She's like, "You know what? Never mind. What up, you fun?" <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's like one it's one of those things that I saw. I'm like, man. Wow, like, you know, you can have that moment of, like, self-reflection of, like, do I do that? And it's, like, yeah. it, it wasn't, it didn't, like, you know, in isolation, it doesn't seem that big, but it's, like, if that consistently happens, you're, like, oh, man, you know, the yeah, end result think, like, can't be that good. In, like, a relationship, like, whether you're just dating or you're married, it's more important when you're married, um, like, just to have that trust between mm-hmm. two people and, like, you can't be manipulating your wife. But that's that's how you don't have trust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, just having that trust is like really important in there. And like, if they had that trust, like the wife would be able to tell them, "Yo, like I need some time off. Like I need to cool down." Mm-hmm. Uh, just having that line of communication yeah. open is like super important. Yeah. Yeah, it was just interesting because I'm like, man, you know, they they seem like the perfect couple. You know, they. They know how to deal with, like, the small yeah. problems. They're, like, they've had it figured out. Everyone else is, like, you know, a train wreck in comparison. Yeah. And you're, I mean, like, like, man, they've got it. And then you see, like, the cracks in, like, the perfect picture kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, everyone has their own problems. Uh, so, like, at the same time, I guess it's also telling, like, you can't assume, like, that what's going on in some other person's life is, like, fine. No matter, like, how much you feel like it is. Right, like there's there's probably a problem somewhere that you're not aware of. Yeah, a lot of people don't see either. Hey, sorry, sorry to interrupt. I All got right. the the I posted this like screenshot of like what the overlay is for my Instagram post, and <laughs> I use those hashtags. I got three likes. Hey, hey, we're, that's it's something. Good. We're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. But yeah. It's just interesting, because I'm like, you know, this, it's, because this is one of those shows I was like, dude, the plot seems interesting, because I'm like, you know, the in the trailers, I'm like, these characters seem like people I want to care about. So I started watching it, and I'm like, this is like the greatest show I've ever watched. So it's like, and like, you know, when you find those shows, once you get into it, you're like, there's a point where, you know, it goes on for a while, and you start losing interest. And I'm like, okay. so I... I don't know. That, that's this show. I'm like, I'm still super interested in it because they keep giving like these turns, where you're like, man, it's great because it's like it's good writing, but it's also like you feel like you're you're able to self reflect on like what they're going through. Yeah. 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 It it also helps that uh, I have Hulu now, so I don't have to I don't have to uh, find other means to watch it when it's not live. <laughs> okay, makes sense. But, yeah. Like, yeah, like I like how, like, when shows have like really good character de- development. Yeah, and, like, actually, that's like all I care about. <laughs> when yeah. shows have like good character development and like the characters grow, and you can see like how one person's doing like changes another person. Mm-hmm. Like that's something that interests me a lot. And I'm glad like I don't know there are more shows like that. Yeah, <laughs> and makes it relatable. Yeah. Speaking of shows, this is just like any shows like anime, you know. Mm-hmm. dramas whatever anything like that uh i guess just because like i said uh like 
I guess how I watch shows right now is like I kind of binge it, so like I'll be busy for a couple weeks when stuff is on, and then I'll just like slowly throughout the course like two days like catch up on like three or four weeks worth of shows. So I guess I, I'm curious like how when you're watching a show like how do you watch it? Do you like watching it week to week, or do you mm-hmm. just like watching a bunch in one go? Do I prefer? I, yeah. I definitely prefer like watch binge watching it, mm-hmm. but like I don't mind having to watch it week to week. Also, like for like JoJo's Part Five right now, like I'm caught up, so it's like week to week. And like for my manga and stuff, I'm just like reading it week to week. Mm-hmm. But it's like, what am I gonna do? Like I know a lot of people like like to wait like the whole week or like wait until the whole season's over and they just been watch the whole thing. Mm-hmm. It's nice just to like keep up like every week, but if I can help it more, bitch watch it. Yeah, yeah. I'm always curious because like there's, oh yeah, I have friends who are like the as soon as it drops, they're like looking for subs, looking for you know. Yeah. They're finding it as soon as possible, and then like <laughs> my sister, like, uh, you know the the show Flash. Yeah. Yeah. The she she was watching it, so she watched like up to episode like 20 and then like or no she watched season one and then got up to near the end and then was like got busy with work and then finished it and then started season two but didn't finish and because i i was talking to her about it because like it was a show we both watched and then she got busy and then she was like i'll just wait till the end of the season and she still hasn't finished it (laughs) <laughs> it's nice. currently on like season five, and she's still on like season two. <laughs> so like, it's I can't. Right. She has a lot to yeah, watch now. yeah, yeah. But like, I can't talk to her about it because she doesn't like spoilers. But she, <laughs> I don't think she's ever gonna watch it. I <laughs> so heard it as, got pretty not as good as before. Yeah, but that that's like that's like what I said. Though. It's like it's one of those shows where it's not. It doesn't have like the great. It doesn't have like the greatest writers. So you know, it, it's more like CW status like those shows they're they're good yeah. when, when during the good moments but like the average is is actually pretty average <laughs> so so yeah it's it's like it just goes on and you know it, it's been on for five years so it's like how especially with like the flash it's like how do you make a dude who runs fast interesting you know yeah but yeah got it but like the problem like a lot of action shows like Actually, like, there's a difference for me between, like, action shows and, like, mm-hmm. shows where, like, you get all emotional and stuff. Like, for, like, shonen anime, right? Like, things mm-hmm. like Boku no Hero or, like, I don't know, Naruto. Like, I'd rather just binge watch it and, then, like, it's not like I have to stop and, like, think about anything. It's just people yeah. fighting. But, like, for shows, like, um, I don't know. I'm just watching Monogatari or, like, Land of Lustrous was in a show, like, two weeks ago. Or last week, I guess. Like... I can't binge watch it because, like, I have to, like, think about the message you're trying to give. Yeah. And, like, I want to stop and cry. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, like, I, like I, you have to, like, stop in the middle and, like, watch it slowly yeah. because it's, like, too much. Yeah. So, like, if, you, if you're, if you like, oh, I'm going to binge this show and then it just gets into, like, a very emotional, like, bunch of episodes, are yeah, you, like, I'm like, just going to power through it slow. or you're just, like, I need to stop? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll stop because, like... Okay. Unless, like, the next episode, like, pertains about what happens, so I'll, nah. I'll, of course, I'll watch it. But it's, like, I want to think about, like, like a, a, I watch shows for character development, not for mm-hmm. action. Yeah. Uh, and, like, when something happens and, like, I don't really understand it or I don't, like, get why, like, I would have, I stop and, like, I try to think about it. And, like, I don't know if I've said this on this podcast before, but, like, the reason I watch shows, yeah, it's like for character development, but it's also like I want to see like how the author like thinks about like these situations that are happening. Mm-hmm. Like, because obviously like you aren't gonna have like ghosts and monsters show up, right? Mm-hmm. Like in real life, but if they did, like, how is the author gonna think like these character people are gonna act like? And like that's what I'm interested in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. Cause uh yeah it's similar cause it's like uh I joke I joke about it but like I watch a lot of Power Rangers but like I don't actually watch it 
<laughs> like in the sense of like if it like you know because they're like 20 minute episodes but like a lot of the fighting is like completely pointless which is funny because like you know i'm a i'm like a te- 10 plus year martial arts guy but yeah. it's like unless unless someone has like a specific style of fighting them like dude that's cool like uh like one of the seasons like the blue guy just did capoeira for a lot of fighting so i'm like that's awesome. cool but it's like if it's just like generic karate you know i just skip over it so it's like when, when i watch a season of power rangers i'm only watching like at at like the most like 75 percent 75 percent of it because i'm like i'm interested in the characters because it's like you know it's yeah. it, it's like a superhero or like you know any kind of thing action oriented it's like how do, how do you basically reinvent the wheel and still make it you know make it new so yeah i'm similar I think like for like super like superhero movies, I enjoyed like Aquaman a lot. Yeah. But and like that was because it was a very it was like the most generic superhero movie. Yeah, yeah. Like they go everywhere, they go adventure. Yeah. The main character gets stronger, mm-hmm. he's a bad guy, yeah. whatever. But like I liked it a lot because uh, because it was like the most generic superhero yeah. movie. You have yeah. this main character mm-hmm. who's kinda Wait, he's a halfy, you know. If you mm-hmm. if you like not a like our friends who aren't like fully Asian, yeah, and they are fully American, yeah, half, they're like confused, like half and like yeah, yeah, and like it helps them like find like encourages them to find identity and stuff, yeah. And like at the end, like he becomes stronger, like you can do it too, and like he just like gets tons of plot armor and stuff, yeah. But like that's what you want in a superhero yeah. movie. You're just like I can be that hero. Yeah, it was, that's hilarious because so like, fiery. yeah, yeah, Aquaman was like my favorite movie so far I've seen in like the last couple months. I'm like, everyone like I, but it's like I walk into it, I'm like, this is gonna be a generic superhero movie. It's gonna be better than you know Batman vs Superman, and it's like it's cause it's cause you know the their interpretation of Aquaman wasn't like just a boring like you know Superman underwater. He was a dude with like an edge. Yeah, you know? and he was he like, got, yeah. And he and he's hot. He got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Long plus, flowing plus, hair, gotta yeah. have those muscles. Yeah. <laughs> plus, uh, he kind of represents us because he's got that like Pacific Islander. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, he dude, he's one of us. We did it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Dean Cain, who's half Japanese, and him. I'm like, yeah, we're making it in the world. <laughs> but yeah. It was just like a really enjoyable movie. Yeah, yeah. That that's that's the interest. It's interesting though because it's like. For a TV show, you you don't you don't tend to commit. You're like, if it's gonna be like a generic show, you're like, I'm not gonna watch that. But if it's like a movie, you're like, I'll give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking, of, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. But uh, something. So I guess uh, cause last week I said uh, I was, uh, last week I was talking about overtime. I'm uh currently done with overtime. Oh, that's so, nice. so yeah, so gonna be great. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought you were frozen, Larry. Nope, nope. I'm just <laughs> not moving. <laughs> I was like, oh god, gotta fix this. But yeah. So, uh, during Wednesday now, I'm gonna try to, cause like, I've got, I've got like Final Fantasy and a bunch of games that I'm like, I really want to play. Oh, which ones? Uh, right now I'm, I'm gonna do ten. Okay. Cause I remember, cause my, <laughs> oh. bless you. Uh, my sister played it a while when it came out, and I watched. But like, oh, long time ago. yeah, yeah. But it'd be like, she would, she would be playing it like all day. So I like sometimes go in, and I'm like, I kind of get the plot, you yeah. know. But I want to experience it. And I'm like, I feel like if I just play like a long RPG like that, then, you know, I kind of want to do something with it. So, I'm like, might as well stream it. <laughs> so, but also another problem is like with long RPGs, like. I'm going to play it a bit, and then I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, I'll take a break. And then it'll be like, okay, I'm done for the day. And then that break will be like two weeks, and I'll be like, I don't know what's going on. Oh. <laughs> you know? So, like, I'm going to try to be consistent about it. You know, a couple hours, just throw into the game, enjoy it, stream it. It should be, like, pretty interesting story. Yeah. So. Yeah. That That's what that's what I want to – I'm going to call it a full play Wednesday. <laughs> oh okay I see. yeah that's why i called it that 
Yeah, and then I'll I'll probably throw it up on YouTube, but it's like I, I'll I'm like I want to set aside time to play those games where like you kind of have to commit. So that should be fun. That'll be that should be interesting. So yeah, so uh yeah. if if you know any games that are like oh. more story based, you know, let me know. Dark Souls. Yeah. But but it's like but I I don't want those games that are, you know, grindy or like super hard oh. for the sake of being hard it's like i kind of want to enjoy plot you know i like my hard games they're fun. <laughs> yeah yeah that i like i like hard games but it's like this is kind of like relaxing and just okay. you know yeah. getting the plot in so it's like rpgs and stuff i want to watch i want to play a uh, sekiro yeah i've been hearing a lot about that well Looks really i i haven't i've like a well i haven't avoided it i just haven't seeked it out i just know that a bunch of people are playing it what is yeah. it? What is Sekiro? It's, it's like a Dark Soul-esque uh, type of game. Mm -hmm. Like a samurai guy. Um, I, don't, I don't know the story or anything, but uh. I know you can die and you can revive. Oh, okay. And so like, it's master. it's Dark Souls-esque? Yeah, but like I think like the biggest thing is like you're a samurai and like you can jump around a lot and you mm -hmm. have like things to throw. But uh, so like, yeah, it's Dark Souls and like the ways that enemies are hard and like how you, like, you do have like limited movement options and stuff so you can't feel you like too tricky you just gotta kill them uh -huh. be good. but all at the same time like the mechanic like the special mechanic is that mm -hmm. like you can as you kill enemies and stuff like you build up this bar and then uh af after you build up the bar after you die like you can revive so you have like multiple tries oh multiple okay lives. so it's not just like you grind and then yeah oh boy and, like, I think gotta grind again <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, like, there's some ways you can, like, there's, like, you solve, like, some puzzles with, by dying and mm -hmm. stuff. So, I'm not sure how, how, exactly how I go, but it looks really fun. I played Dark Souls, so. Okay. Yeah, I think I have Dark Souls from one point when I was, like, spamming Humble Bundles. I was like, this is oh. amazing, I'm getting, like, seven games for, like, four bucks, but <laughs> I haven't played them. So, I might also do that, Yeah. you know, to sit down and die over and over again <laughs> and just, i had like, a i only played dark souls because uh one of my friends bought dark souls half off so like 30 bucks or whatever dark souls 3 mm -hmm. and then um and then so me and uh my roommate at the time my other roommate uh, we we're like hey yo can we play it so we, we played it on his computer for a little bit actually mm -hmm. for a lot of it because he ended up not liking the game so like, you know i'm gonna return this but steve like has a 10 hour play limit mm -hmm. before you can like return it and then but we both me and my other roommate combined like went over to by like 30 hours oh. <laughs> so a little bit <laughs> over a little bit over yeah. so uh he just shared his theme library with me so i should be playing it ah <laughs> nice man that's interesting dude speaking of like <laughs> it's funny that's a, that's actually a decent segue or connecting <laughs> like humble bundle so i uh i i was like man i got money now what do i want i'm like as a kid what did i want i was like transformers and i look at them like these toys are actually god awful <laughs> like the yeah, toys for it it's like there, there is like most of the ones from the show. If you want like the cool, like the actual cool ones, they're like resale like two hundred dollars. And I'm like, I don't have that kind of money to drop. <laughs> so I was like, what else did I want? You know, Power Rangers toys. I'm like, yes. We talked about this already. Yeah. Like before. But, yeah, but uh, but I I found it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And like. I got a bunch. <laughs> oh, that one's recognizable. I don't know what that yeah. one is. And then I got this guy. This? But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I bought it in like, an, or I I got it off an auction on eBay. Uh, okay. And it was like a, a lot, so it was a bunch of them. And like this one is clearly uh, not complete because uh. Yeah, he's kind of missing. That, that's it. not his. That's not his correct arm. Yeah, I, I'm I like, just why like. Arms so small. <laughs> Cause I get they just threw where's looking for it. What? Are, yeah, here. So that's supposed to be on this thing, 
So okay. they, this is an arm for another one that the guy who sold it just threw in the bag. So I'm <laughs> like, it unless I want unless I want him to look like this. It's all right too, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, he's he's got a little uh, he's got he's got a lot of heart. He's got a lot of heart on this hand, you know. <laughs> so I was like, close yeah. enough. And I'm like, it was just funny because I was looking at it at it was uh, at work because it was just like downtime. And I was like, oh, let's see. And it was like on auction. And I was like, I, I have a specific amount that I'm not going to overspend. I'm like, <laughs> all right. It, it's, it was like, when I looked at it, it was like four hours from it. It was $20 for, for all of them. Oh. I'm like, that's pretty good. And I'm like, okay. I said to myself, like, this doesn't go over $50, right? <laughs> I'm like, that's a little much. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch this, right? So I do my thing, I, I'm working, and I have like a timer set on my phone. I'm like, it's 10 minutes before it ends. Let's go. So it it went up to like $34. I was like, okay, I'm going to put $36. And at the last second, I'll add more. No one bid. <laughs> so I won. Nice, nice. And with the shipping, it went to be about $50. I'm like, yes, that's exactly how much I wanted to spend. <laughs> I'm like, that's great because... uh. It's like barely on limit. Yeah, cause th this is from like two thousand. This is from like two thousand and one. Yeah. So like, if you go and find the individual one, it's it's like a hundred dollars. So I was like, that's a great steal, cause it it's like deal. the it's uh the the robots are like transformers, but they're like you gotta combine them all. Yeah. So. Oh, so you get yeah. a bunch of them. Yeah. So, so I got a bunch of parts. Combine. I got a bunch of parts. Yeah. So I'm like, so like here. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, because I I accidentally uh bid on one that was just like action or were like figures. Uh huh. So it was, the guy was like selling ten of them, but they're like the the cheap ones that you buy that like they have no movement and they're just the figures, so they don't transform. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's a steal. There's ten of them. So I bid on it and I won, and I'm like, this is not what I wanted to buy. <laughs> so I instantly sent. I sent a message to the guy selling it. I'm like, I'm sorry, this is not what I want. I retracted it on eBay, and I'm like, okay. thank God the guy wasn't like a terrible okay. person. Was like, no, you're buying this you. from me. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So, if uh, if you ever if you ever get interested in this, Larry, make sure you look at the pictures so you know what you're buying. <laughs> I was yeah. like, I was like, you know, if this guy wants to be a very annoying person, he can be like, well, you know, you bid on it, so you, you know. Cause yeah. on eBay, it's like you're supposed it. It was like in my in my cart, and it was like you committed to buying this. I'm like, but that's not what I want. <laughs> but yeah, uh, made yeah, mistake. yeah. The the seller was very reasonable about it. That's nice. Cause no one else bid on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, man. I was like, thanks, dude. What a legend. But yeah, I don't know. Is there anything you collect? Is there anything I collect? Yeah, cause I'm like, I'm not seeking these like you know whenever i i get a paycheck but i'm like slowly i want to yeah. collect these i don't think there's anything i collect like yeah yeah i don't think anything in particular did you like, collect yeah, anything I as a kid enough. like pokemon really. cards Yu Gi Oh cards anything i like guess that? i have like a few pokemon cards few, okay. like Yu Gi Oh cards but like not in particular like i wouldn't go crazy over them uh -huh. that's not something like particularly cared about like yeah but Okay, I was just curious, cause I'm like slowly get, cause I'm in like groups for Power Ranger and the Japanese version Super Sentai okay, yeah, 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 on yeah. Facebook, and people post their collections, and I'm like, dude, that's like two thousand dollars worth of stuff. What the heck? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and they get like you just super see, like, hardcore. Like people have it. Yeah. Crazy. And it's like, like mine. So they're they're used, and like the the stickers are damaged. Like they repair it. And like mm -hmm. print out stickers to match the original design, and I'm like, oh, that's a little hardcore really? for me. But yeah, I was just curious. I guess like yeah. the only thing I can like think of that's like even somewhere close to that is like I have a gaming controller I was building or I was like mm -hmm. remaking a while ago, but like I stopped doing it. And I completely forgot about it. <laughs> um, but like I have a I repainted my game controller, so nice. it's green and white. Um, to match my ice climber colors in melee, um, but I still had to buy a decal. I need to get a 
I only get an eggplant decal uh, for my controller. Wait, eggplant or piranha plant? Eggplant, eggplant. Ah. Uh, so like ice climbers, they're they're so. Oh, oh, right, they, right. Yeah. I like zoned out and I was like, "Are you making a <laughs> reference to piranha plant and not remembering no. that it's named piranha plant?" <laughs> piranha plant's funny too, but he's he's funny to play. He's just not good. <laughs> um, but his combos can be look really sick. Um, but anyways, um, like I I play I climbed in melee. I can't blame. Them. They're okay in ultimate. Like they have cool yeah. decent stuff, but nice. they'll probably mess up my melee play. Uh, but like I like oh shoot, I didn't get my cord. Uh, we group we group bought like these really cool cords and stuff to like mm-hmm. record on the controller and like so I need to go get my so I need to finish up my building my controller. I'll show it to you guys next week. Oh, I'll, I'll just bring it. That's it's what in my I look room. forward to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully I'll finish it. Uh, I probably won't finish it. I'm too lazy. Our show and tell section. Our show and tell yeah. section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll show and tell. my unfinished controller. But like, I need to fix my game controller anyways. Um, the one I'm actually using right now, um, like the left stick, the it's like the the plastic is breaking off. Like, there's a huge crack in it, and like. It's falling apart, so I need to go. I need to go get a new one, anyways. <laughs> it's like too worn in. Okay. Yeah. Well, do... I don't really kind of look anything though. Ah, okay. All right. I guess. Well, something you might know more about then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, something. I mean, I feel like I've talked about this before, but I kind of want to bring it up again. Uh, Chinese food and I guess Asian food in general versus like. Okay. Asian American food, like uh, you know, like tra- like traditional food versus like Panda Express or Payway. Um, those don't yeah. count. Well, well, like they're they're like Asian American food. I I guess. You know? I mean, like Panda yeah. Express was made by like a Chinese dude. Yeah. Um. So it, like you know what I mean? Uh, like the like there it's not, or it's like Asian inspired American food. Okay. You know, yeah. like that, that's what I would categorize it as. So, like, you know, what what do you think about it? You know, the um, two, like, if they, like, you know, if someone's like, I love Chinese food, and they're like, dude, I love my orange chicken. I mean, <laughs> you know, it, they're both food. Um, like, it does taste good. Um, like Panda Express and stuff, like, mm-hmm. tastes all right. Some of it tastes all right. Yeah. Um. Shoot, I can't Ask Yifan if he likes his American food, Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like Chinese food, like uh, Chinese food will always be my favorite food. Um, no, it'll just always be like what I really like to eat, okay. and like what I like to cook also. So like, it'll always be my favorite. And like Chinese American food, like honestly, I can't bash on it too much. Like, there's so many people who do like it, and yeah. like a lot of it does taste really good. Yeah. So. Okay, payway makes me sad. Yeah, but like hey, payway is like, like over exp- overpriced <laughs> for some just, things. <laughs> but like Panda is like it's all right. Also, can't bash on them too much because uh, so I found a job recently, or maybe we'll see. Uh, at, like working at Panda and stuff. So Oof. are are you gonna be the one Asian person they have in the front? No, no. no. So one of my friends like, yo, we need more people working in here. Uh-huh. So like, you are want, you gonna be like, the cook? Okay. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, well, my uh, joke is every time you walk into a panda, you have one Asian person, and then like in the front. yeah, in the front to keep it <laughs> legit, and then in the back, it's this isn't racist. This is just my observation. <laughs> it's it's always Mexicans cooking it. They do it very well, because it's yeah, like you I know mean, they they work the walk pretty well. You know, yeah, you, you see it. You're like I I can see that that's you know they're they're good at. I it. mean, it's just cooking. Anyone yeah. can cook. Yeah, yeah, but it's they like you know Chinese. you know they're. But it's always it's always funny because it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah, and like make the customers yeah. think it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Legit. Like, they always have one Asian person. I'm like, okay, that that's I guess that's how you know, make the customer feel better. But yeah, so I yeah, guess but, you know, cause like be Asian fun. Asian American food, or like Chinese American food, like Panda is like, most of it I summarize as like you know, fried meat with like sugar and stuff. Yeah, it's like a lot of stir fried yeah. stuff. And like... Yeah, it's like simple. So I guess I don't know. Like, what if you think of if you think of Chinese food, like what what comes to mind? Like actual Chinese food. Um, you know, I'm a lot of it is like. <laughs> so a lot like... is like 
what I imagine like mom makes. So yeah. Like, so like, what 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 does your mom make? Uh, there are like fried like, me. like veg- vegetables and mm-hmm. stuff like or like just boiled vegetables like a lot of batch fry, and like you and then you is it stir fried? It's still kind of stir fried. I guess it is like with a meat or something, mm-hmm. or like we have um I don't know. Um, my mom, more of my parents like make really good fried rice, and like you would add a lot of different things in it, uh, like mushrooms or umami. Love mushrooms or fried rice; it's so good. Um, but like a lot of like Chinese food, it's just like you fry up and stir up, fry up different things. Or yes, it depends on where you go. Actually, like Chinese food is such a yeah. like a that, wide topic. That is true. But China is too big. Yeah. So like, so I guess like your your family's like region. Yeah, so like yeah, my family's from Hong Kong and stuff. Mm-hmm. So like, there's tons of different things and like there's British influences and stuff. And then, but like, if you go to like Shanghai, Shanghai has like the m- most complicated dishes. Like they take each dish takes like three days to cook, because like there's I I know of like two like really famous dishes. One is like this huge pig's foot. It's just, it's just like it's a huge pig foot mm-hmm. and like. They cook it, but like because of the pig foot, it's like really uh, hard. So you have to like boil it for like three days or whatever to like make sure it's like soft and like uh-huh. in that while you're boiling it, like you gotta add spices and stuff to like make sure flavors get into the meat. And it's like actually so good, but it takes so long. They also have these things called a uh, seed zitao, uh, or uh, lion's head, literally lion head. And they're just giant meatballs. They look like huge meatballs, but they're like the best meatballs ever. And I don't know how you make it, but like it also takes a long time. And like the flavors are like so super unique because like of just how you cook it. But like if you go to like Sichuan, like they're really famous for like spicy food and like their pepper, right? Or if you go up to like if you go up to North China, they're famous for not having food. <laughs> yeah, you eat or, like, lots of people. Exactly, and like <laughs> eating or, bread. Like, just having, like, eating paper and uh, these sour vegetables, pickled vegetables and stuff. So, no, yeah, it's like, yeah. and then like, I guess like, if you go like east to like Taiwan, you have like Nuromian, which is like literally beef noodle soup, mm-hmm. and like the flavors are all different like everywhere you go. And, like I guess like, even like Korea, like not China, but. <laughs> um, <laughs> So their food is like so similar and like they have like kimchi fried rice like mm-hmm. like they have pickled things and like like kimchi things and like they're it's like just so like situational like no matter where you go yeah like pretty interesting okay. like food culture yeah because i feel like I, I don't remember how i talked about this on the podcast this is we're, we're hitting that point where we've done enough where you, you can't remember everything you've said <laughs> not enough happens or lives you keep having yeah. yeah. things. So like but but uh there was like this video of like these it was like reactions to Panda Express and it was like I'm a, I think they're all like Chinese American. It's like our age and then like their parents and so they're like you know, they get stuff off the panda menu, it's like orange chicken. Oh you know? yeah. And they're like, what do you think about this? And like the kids are all like, This is disgusting and then the parents are like, This is pretty good. Yeah, it is all right. It's food. Yeah, yeah they're like it's food. You know, they're like this is this is pretty good. Yeah, I, I think I saw yeah. like Buzzfeed make, made a video. Yeah, it's like something that. like that. But it was like it's very interesting because I'm like, I feel like we're in the same generation. You know, yeah. well we are like age wise, like, age wise. But I I know. used to say like panda is not good, and like I literally haven't stepped foot on a panda in years. Yeah. Um, but like it's like I prefer other food. Yeah, but so, it's... like if I had to eat there, like. Mm-hmm. it's fine it's food yeah yeah so that's why that's why i was curious i'm like is it like a chinese thing where it's like dude that that's a disgrace on our culture or is it just like you know for like that the the younger generation of being like trying to get your you know your your national pride and all that <laughs> yeah i think it's like just a national pride yeah. thing or like or yeah. what they think is national yeah. pride yeah because it, it was just funny because it's like all the old people are like no this is pretty good they're like it's whatever yeah they'll put stuff like this egg roll and they're like the, the kids are all offended. They're like, that's not even Chinese. And the parents are like, yeah, they don't do that where I'm from, but, you know, tastes okay. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. 
I'm like, is it like a generational thing? Is it a cultural thing? I'm like, I don't know. I mean, my parents don't like Panda either, but yeah. like, I don't know. They might be on for me, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But, but I'm like, because that, that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, because. I mean, Peiwei does Vietnam and like uh, PF Chang's does like Vietnamese food, but I'm like, I don't go there, so I don't, I don't know. I, I think, I think PF, no, Peiwei does some Vietnamese stuff, but I'm like, I, I like when it was at ASU, I'm like, I could just go get Panda, it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah, I went, the one time I went to Peiwei, uh, I went with Dan Lee, mm -hmm. one of my friends, and like, we were so sad, but we were like, okay, we have to try this once, and then we tried it, and yeah. Never again. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah, I was. I I think I tried because they they swapped the the Papa Johns out for it, and so I oh, was like, the Papa Johns. Yeah, yeah it used to be a Papa Johns. What the heck? Yeah, but it was like overpriced. It was like three bucks for a slice of cheese. Oh, like Papa Johns That's cheese. Bad. So you're like, dude, that's a rip off. Oh, oh well. Because <laughs> uh, if you do that, you're you're like Tanner, and you just go up to ingrained, and you get ten dollars for like flatbread cheese. That they call pizza, so, so yeah, so they got rid of that. They put the payway in. I was like, I'll try this, and I'm like, I'm I'm more of a noodle guy than like white rice. Oh, love I'm like, rice. you know, rice is the best. Yeah, R rice is good, but I'm like, I can make rice easy. Good I don't rice. want to stir fry noodles. <laughs> okay, so, it's like the same. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, well, you know, just like you know, you, you clean the rice and you just put it in the pot, but like. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, but I'm always like, I'm like a noodle guy. I like noodles more than rice, when I can. So I'm like, I'll okay. get the noodles too, and it was like, you could tell like it's it's made to be healthier. But I'm like, this isn't what I get, you know, like yeah, if I want to eat like healthier, I just good. eat at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was interesting. Definitely. Yeah. And yeah, I guess that's all. That's all I wanted to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the last thing, yeah. it's it's pretty related. Yeah. Like, I think like, uh, along with like Asian culture and stuff, like something that's like been really blown up is like South Asian traits. There's like millions of people on it. Like this Facebook group with like this Asian memes. It's like pretty cool to see like Asian Americans, like community and stuff. The the funny thing is, it was started by Australian Asians. Yeah, there's a there's actually like a lot of yeah. Asian in Australia. Yeah. Like a lot, I know a lot of yeah. people from Hong Kong. Like mm -hmm. they go to Australia for college, yeah. and like yeah. I still have, I have friends in Australia mm -hmm. who are there for college. Yeah, it, it's just funny though, cause like you see, like it, it went that that group went through like phases of like they just wanted as many people in, and then you have like the original like early adopters that are like all Australian, and they're like, uh -huh. guys, stop making stuff about Americans. We made this group first. <laughs> Oh, do you know do you know Eric Knob? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, um, you should. He's a he's a musician. And he's an artist. He's really famous. He, and he's a, his voice is like is really good. Okay, it's beautiful. Um, and like so, he's actually like a mod for, for like for South Asian traits. Mm -hmm. And when everyone saw that, it's like, oh my goodness, Eric Knob. Like, <laughs> like I think at one of his concerts or something, like he met up with like some South Asian traits people. Mm -hmm. and, like, I think like it was just really cool to see like literally like everyone's in it yeah like all the even, famous people yeah all even that. like the even ha Hassan Minaj oh, he, he <laughs> oh did, yeah, yeah he had an AMA in there <laughs> yeah, yeah I saw that yeah so like he's yeah. had like so many and like I like how it's like inclusive of like yeah many kinds of Asian even though like some a lot of them are like less uh represented in there yeah but yeah that's just how big the community is. Yeah, it's crazy. It was like I think the the group still has uh the the like most liked post or something like that. They have oh, some yeah. record on Facebook. Yeah, we I remember I was <laughs> I remember like we have um someone posted like the the last record of like most liked posts and mm -hmm. they're like, wait, we have like millions of people in here. We can just Get this to be the most like, yeah. <laughs> like it was so easy. Yeah, yeah we like, did I it in like two it. days. <laughs> it was like it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. that that group's interesting. It's like, cause you, yeah, cause I for, I forget that like you know even though we're we're Asian American like a lot, 
everyone has like different lives. Yeah. Like and it like, I found it, like mm-hmm. really interesting like where not like depending on the place you are like your Asian American like culture is a yeah. little bit different but yeah. everyone like has a lot of similar things in common yeah. at the same time. Yeah, like something simple is like, you know, boba is synonymous with Asian American culture. Oh yeah. You know? And like the the post I see the people are like, "What are your sugar percentages?" I'm like, "You can ask for that?" Oh, you're trolling. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not. I swear. I'm like, what? I'm no like, way. I I just go. You know, I'm like, I just assume I'm gonna get the most sugar I can. No. And, and I'm like, so I, I just sweet. go to places. I'm like, I guess it's sweet, and I'm not eating anything else sweet today. Oh my <laughs> people, are like, was, people are I like, people are like, you at like, people are like, you you got like ten percent. I'm like that's a thing <laughs> you know like small stuff like that i get like 30 percent like usually like max like if i really wanted it to be sweet, like 50 percent. so well i never i never even knew you could ask so i'm like oh boy yeah, I always can take it. <laughs> yeah because I mean, um, our milk tea places aren't that good here yeah but yeah that, that's what that's what i mean like they don't even ask for it so i'm like i didn't even know it was a thing yeah, depends on the place yeah and then, I think most places they'll change it for you. Yeah, and then so, something else that was like I guess controversial was uh, early on, there there were posts about you know people joking about how like parents will, like slap you and stuff. Oh. <laughs> and it was funny because I was browsing like other Asian like I guess I was looking for other Asian groups you know. Yeah. And I was just curious like there's a Asian like Asian subreddits, and they were like there was someone who was on there that was complaining about it. They were like. Yeah, man, they normalize getting beaten, and I'm like, did we not all get beaten? I mean, <laughs> I'm like, I feel like that was just a normal thing, you know, to varying yeah, degrees. So like, it is really yeah. interesting to like see how yeah. people were like parented and stuff. Yeah, yeah, because like you you meet the one kid who is like their parents like didn't do anything to them, and you're like, dude, yeah. you have like the greatest life ever, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah but like you can like you have people like comparing like how their lives are. Yeah. On- yeah okay. yeah i i really like the group i'm just like you know uh, i'm not into like a lot of the lifestyles they choose so it's very interesting to see like <laughs> a small glimpse of it yeah and like you also have, like people who have had like the exact same childhood yeah you. and you're like man it's a small world so it's cool <laughs> it's a cool place where it's like yeah it's like the world is infinitely huge compared to you while simultaneously being like man a right lot of there. people did that when we grew up you know those Yu-Gi-Oh means the Beyblade means they're like these are the greatest things ever. Oh, tangent, but it's hilarious. So at Taekwondo, I was I was teaching kids uh, one of the kids class and like uh, it spar it was sparring night so like they were oh. getting all their gear on and one of these one of the girls is like, man, all these all the guys in my school, they they have these spitting top things that I guess you have a ripper out and I'm like that's a Beyblade. They don't know what she doesn't know what a Beyblade is. <laughs> I'm like, Beyblade has gone through like seven iterations. How do you not know? <laughs> I mean, like, Beyblades aren't really around yeah. anymore. Yeah. So, it, it's still, in, it's still, they're like still the in best. stores. Oh, really? Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Like, like, uh, I'll go to Walmart because I'm like, man, are they still like metal and like, yeah, they're yeah, dangerous yeah, they're metal. Yeah, they, they I mean, have I've the never, stadium. Like, Beyblades, my brother. It like. We'd just like fight each other. It'd be great <laughs> with Beyblades, not yeah. like <laughs> man. Did did you ever? Did you always get like the legit ones, or you got? <laughs> I I had mostly legit ones, but then I also had like a the, few that were the like tops, not legit. Or yeah, I had one that was like it was like huge. It was really oh. funny. It was golden. It was, but it was humongous. Yeah. <laughs> it was like at least double or triple the size of a normal Beyblade. But like you can still spin it. Oh, it really? was so funny. Would <laughs> it like, just run over other ones? <laughs> yeah, but like it was like it was like a lot lighter. It was like lighter than the other ones. Oh so, like, wow! <laughs> you would like get knocked away and stuff. Yeah, it I was just funny to have. Yeah, I just remember my mom would like she she like save money, so she go like the ninety nine cent store and be like, "That's a Beyblade." And I'm like, "Close it off." And they're like, <laughs> "They're plastic." And I'm like, I mean, "They're fun either yeah, way." Yeah, yeah, I'm like. At the time, I'm like, this is great, but I'm like looking back, cleaning out stuff. I'm like, what is this thing? <laughs> and like, you know yeah, how like in, in in the shows they were like, oh, you know, the Beyblades have a soul, 
So oh, yeah, that's, the, that's the thing the in the middle. Yeah, yeah, the monster things. And I'm like, this is just the spiral. <laughs> For the picture. Your like, is a black hole. Yeah, I'm like, that's either the edgiest thing I've ever seen, or that's the laziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's very interesting stuff. Oh, yeah. Man, it's, it's been a long, long while since I've played with those and stuff. Yeah. I think, like, we got rid of them, a lot of them, or, like, we... I don't, like, I don't have, I don't have no idea where, like, my toys are, <laughs> or, like, a lot of my toys are, like, I think I got, like, we got rid of them, uh, since, ever since, I, like, I moved from, uh, SF, so, like, we brought them from Hong Kong to SF, uh-huh. I was, like, I was still pretty young, but, like, uh-huh. I was nine when I moved to here, to Arizona, so I think, like, and we drove. <laughs> <laughs> so, toy, so, toys like, would take up we, space. Yeah, a lot of the toys like we yeah. didn't have anymore. But, oh well. Like when we moved from Hong Kong to SF, we had turtles, and we we gave our turtles away. So oh sad. man, they're still alive, actually. Wow. Like last time, I think like last time I went back to Hong Kong, oh, I didn't go check. I didn't go see them, but like they're still alive and stuff. That's cool. Man, Larry, that 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 just makes me want to do. <laughs> that makes me just want to go get a bunch of Beyblades and just go over to Yifan's house. And be like, all right, cam- cameras on. We're doing a Beyblade tournament. <laughs> <laughs> we're just streaming Beyblades. Yeah, we just stream. But hey, man, it, that, I think that'll be fun. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Is the Beyblade World Championship? <laughs> <laughs> the the I, refs I don't all. Know how you can be good at Beyblades? Basically, you spend the most money. Because yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> most of the time it's like. If you're actually, if you're, if you ever want to get competitive at Beyblade, it's kind of like trading cards, where you there's min maxing, so you basically oh, min yeah, max huh? your yeah, design for Beyblade. like, for like weight, spin, you know, all you're that. Right. So like, you're basically just buying a bunch of Beyblades, and you're just, you're just like mixing and matching the parts to min max your, you know, yeah, yeah. how long, how heavy, like the weight, you know, all the dimensions. <laughs> But it's funny because it's like it's a bunch of ten year olds, and like they're surrounded by adults because that's their parents. And the revs are dressed up like the anime people, so they have like they have the bandana, they have like the bright colored shirts. And I'm like, this is this is a great world we live in. <laughs> I know there's like just really cool communities around. Yeah. So yeah, Larry. One day we're we're gonna do a Beyblade tournament. All right. Let's I uh, make some money. Yeah. Working at Panda. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna oh, use man, that Panda interested. money. To buy Beyblades. We'll see. Then, I yeah. I think I have other things like food. <laughs> but all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this was uh well, feels like a good place to end. Yeah. It's on a little on the short side, but uh, we got through a lot of stuff. It was fun talking. Yeah. Hope this one was a little bit better. Two people yeah. makes Two... it a little bit easier to talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little easier. All right. That's, that's the podcast. Thanks for watching. Play us out, Larry. Play us out. <laughs>